These guys have pulled off something quite different, and it's cheap as chips. This house cost $210,000, and that's not bad for a well-designed three-bedroom home. For the same value as these houses, they've got a, quite a contemporary design, you know, um, magazine friendly. Gary packed in the design features without blowing the very tight budget. He managed to do it by being careful with the layout and the materials he used. What we've used on the outside is uh, some lightweight material claddings as opposed to a brick. We've used the ply and also the linear weatherboard and that has enabled us to use some quite modern colours to create a point of difference. Structurally we've uh, kept it very simple with the standard framing and uh, gabled roofs uh, and that's allowed us to keep the, the price for the structure um, at, at, a, at a reasonable cost. The open plan living dining layout is an old trick that gives this 120 square metre home a sense of space. Double glazed industrial sliders are not only a good look and practical, but flood the room with light. They're a good example of the sort of slightly funky finish detail that makes this place stand out from the crowd. What I noticed coming in was uh, really created a, a really solid countertop here. It's not marble, mate. No, by just using the 60mm um, uh, Formica top, it's giving that chunkiness and, uh, and it gives a perception that it is marble or, or granite. A bit of simple design I appreciate that isn't immediately obvious are how the bedrooms are clustered together. That works on a couple of levels, it keeps them private, and on the cost front, allows the wiring and plumbing to also be clustered. It's that sort of behind the walls cleverness that's got this place built on budget. Hopefully, this intelligent design becomes a mainstream and not the exception.